All right, this is my final version of the 32 GPU rig. With all the accessories that I'll be using. Simple rundown to be quick. Intel Nook is going to power or connect to the bottom board using this extender. 4X to the PCI. This comes with two M.2s via the chipset, so I don't know if it's going to work yet, but I'll find out. The M.2 currently has an Intel Octane M10 in it. The other side will use the M.2 to a 4X out to connect to the top board. Power supplies, one power supply per eight cards. I could do better if it's running a different algo, and I don't know what GPUs I'll be running in the final version. If I'm using 170HXs, yeah, I'm probably going to leave four PSUs up top or on the rig. Got the fans. They keep them cool. Got the fan adapter. Got my logo on it. They just mount on with the I.O. shield, just like that. They keep the cool GPUs nice and cool. Got my CMP100 little adapter thingy bob. I don't know what it's called. It just helps direct air through it. I got to tweak it a little bit better. It's a better seal on it. And then we're going to have the cool box 2 fan controller controlling so there are 16 slots four fans for that then I got a special party trick I'm gonna find out about soon about uh, linking these linking two of them up together but yeah this is what it should look like run now, with, depending on which cards I use, depends on how I'm going to have the power to the board. So if I'm just using CMP 100s or 170s, two, two powers, sorry, two six pin PCI to eight pin PCI, it's gonna be two there, running two here, two and two, then using the 6 pin to 8 pin 12 volt EPS those will be going to the GPUs on all of them nice simple solution might have to twist some things around adjust it and whatnot but yeah in the next video, um, I might have a time lapse or something, probably not. I might just have a, this is what it is, it running, here are the temps. If you have any questions or anything like that, leave a comment. But yeah, I've been messing with these and I feel pretty confident in this. I was trying to find an easy solution because when you put 16 cards up there, it gets really heavy. So using the aluminum extruded helps a lot to keep a frame. I'm probably not gonna be taking it apart too much. So no problem there. I just got to figure out cable management, routing it and keeping everything nice and clean. But yeah, got some 3D printed stuff to make. Got to find a way to secure that to the frame. I've already tested it on a test motherboard or test frame setup using this. So I know that works. Power supplies. I got everything. I'm ready. All right. I'm out.